Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for the opportunity to show you this standard modern sliding gap bed lathe in absolutely magnificent condition. This machine was purchased new in January of 1992 by the U.S. federal government. The machine is manufactured in the North American continent and all common wear parts are still available through Standard Modern Limited. This happens to be our stock number 663 and the machine serial number is 52296. This machine has some amazing specifications. It has 19 inches of swing over the bed slash 36 inches through the gap and as well as the fact that it has 54 inches between center distance. That's right, this machine has an actual gap, so we're looking at a section of bed on top of another section of bed, shown below, in what we call a sliding gap bed lay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run this machine for you and show you the tooling and the uh, specifications. Uh, let's see it, Frank. 17. 17 RPM. Get up close where the action is here. Thirty-five RPMs. Please note there's 18 spindle speed changes ranging from 17 to 1,000. Sorry, go ahead. 60 RPM. So from 17 to 1,000, there's 18 changes in a D16 camlock spindle. 120 RPM. This is driven by a 7.5 horsepower main drive motor. The machine is currently wired at 220 volts. 305. 305 RPM. Well, that's a smooth one. Four ninety. Four hundred ninety RPM. The spindle bore on this machine happens to clear two inch on the stock. Six hundred thirty RPM. Here's your 1,000 RPM. Boy, that's responsive. You'll see how easy it is to change these speeds. Let's do. Let me back up a little bit. Give me one second. Okay, we're going to talk about threads and feeds and speeds. We're currently feeding the longitudinal axis. Now please keep in mind, there's longitudinal feeds and cross slide feeds in inch as well as in metric. There's 20 changes in both. The inch range is from 0 .0015 to 0 .053 IPR. The metric is from 0.04 to 1.35 millimeter in IPR. I'd like to start pointing out the condition of the cross slide on this machine, showing you the ways. Absolutely magnificent condition. The overall condition of this machine is extremely limited use. Here's the parking bracket stand coming out of the back. When the gap bed is open, here's your tail stock. Frankie's pointing out a good point here, which is he's showing us that there's cross slide and on the compound, there's graduated dials for both inch and metric. Boy, that's beautiful. With the satin chrome finish on the dial, absolutely priceless. So super tight, super responsive. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a give it a walk around on the machine here. 
So I don't know if I mentioned that the RPMs on this machine go from 17 to 1,000 RPM. It's seven and a half horsepower main drive. The machine is currently at 220 volts. The overall weight of this machine is 5,500 pounds. We're super excited about this machine, serial number 11453. It was purchased new by the federal government in 1992, and it came to us out of long-time standby storage. By the way, while I'm up here on the threading chart, I was going to show you the um, way that this is set up. Super easy. So here's your threads right here. Showing inch and metric threads. Here and here, here and here, and then these are your feeds. Inch on the left side, metric on the right side for your feeds. Here's your RPM spindle speed changes. Here's your two inch on the two inch plus on the spindle bore. Back the camera off a little bit. Is there some way we can show that there's a bed on top of a bed? when we get crazy here in a second, as well as the fact that this is a hardway machine. Please note, this is a hardway machine. It also has the 10 inch three jaw chuck that you're seeing on the machine. It has a 22 inch base plate that's down here. It's a 22 inch T-slotted D16 direct mount base plate. We have all of the mounting hardware and the bolts. Okay, I'll just show them how the bed's set up. Okay, so Frankie's pointing out the separation between the top bed and the lower bed. Due to the fact that we're a little bit limited in space in our warehouse here. See, we're sitting next to several other machines. We're a little bit limited here. We apologize. But uh, you have a section of bed on top of another section of bed. And we can uh, just request some additional photos and we can get those for you as well if we need to. Uh, what else? So we talked about the taper attachment. We have a machine light. We have six beautiful uh, pads. The machine is set up for coolant. However, at the present time, it does not have a tank or a pump. The width of the bedway on this machine is 14 inches wide. I'd like to point out it's a full 14 inches wide with the number four Morse taper in the tail stock. Again, here's the rear of the cross slide showing you the ways up near the headstock again. What are we seeing here, Frank? Some super clean electrics? All uh, components, standard components that are uh, very common off the shelf, American made items. Oh, thank you. As well as the fact that we uh, just recently purchased last week a manual from Standard Modern. It's the uh, floor mounted sliding gap bed lathe, catalog number 52317. Well, on behalf of Machinery Consultants here in Salt Lake City, Utah, we'd like to thank you for this video. We apologize for it being so lengthy. However, when it comes to a machine of this caliper and this class, it's very difficult to, uh, to show just a simple video on a complex machine in a short period of time. So on our website, you can review any additional photos, which is at www.machineryconsultants.com, as well as pick up the phone and give us a call if you're interested at 801-531-9500. Well, thanks again and have a wonderful day.